But that's what cyber criminals are doing to the victims. They gain their trust. They keep conversations going on for uh, weeks, maybe months, trying to gain their wow. trust and get as close to them as possible. And when they earn their trust, they're going to create massive financial losses because they already have that person's trust. Uh, a very common uh, pig butchering uh, type of attack is somebody texting you normally with an, op uh, with an opposite sex and they will be uh, asking you, hey, this is Jennifer. Uh, how far away are you from the airport? Because I'm, uh, I'm kind of losing patience here. You were supposed to pick me up at 10. And you look at the phone and answer, hey, uh, you have the wrong number. Probably you want to sort it out with your taxi cab, Uber driver, whatever. They will uh, reply, hey, thank you for uh, being so kind. Uh, by the way, I'm visiting the city. I want to see uh, what your city offers. Uh, do you have any recommendations? And they kick off a conversation. They will gain your trust up until some point where they start working on this uh, financial fraud when you have fi finally fallen in love with them. Uh, I've been talking to people uh, who have lost significant amounts of money. Wait, wait, they have yet to meet these people. Yeah. Uh, we've been investigating a couple of these scams. And the sad thing was that people who had lost like hundreds of thousands of dollars were yeah. like, you know what? I don't care about the money. I don't have anybody to wake up to and text. Mm. Whoa. That is, uh... That's, that's sad. psychological damage is some, sometimes much more impactful for them. Whoa.